two days, six years ago, I had my accident. It was Friday the 13th of July of 2012. And this is the first Friday the 13th of July since then. Initially, I was going to make a video telling you guys to stay inside, to not do crazy things like I had done and others in the past, like r go on a horse, ride a motorcycle, or another common one is a diving accident. So initially, I was going to tell you guys to bubble wrap yourself, but then I thought I can't do that because I plan to go out today too. And I had previously arranged plans around two weeks ago. And it takes me a while to get a ride, so I always hate to cancel because of all the work it took. But I'm glad I went, because after going to the movie theater, I met this guy outside. And I talked to him for a while. He was a great guy. And I'm glad that my ride came late because the movie was actually only an hour and a half and I was anticipating too. So I was speaking to this guy and I asked how he was doing. He came across me and I said, hey, how are you today? And when he looked at me, his face brightened up and he said, I'm doing good, thank you. And then he asked how I was doing and I said, I'm doing good too. And then after a little small talk, I asked what his plans was for that rest of the day. He said he didn't have any plans. And then I asked him about the weekend. And he also said he didn't have any plans. And then after the small talk ended, we had a deeper conversation. He said he recently just got out of jail two days ago. And I could tell that he was looking for something, but he was just aimless, aimlessly walking. So I said, okay, you don't have plans today, tomorrow? I said, what about long-term goals? I said, do you, where do you see yourself in the future? I said, I used to create goals, but they never panned out. And since then, because of that decision, I'm not creating that. He's been aimlessly walking around. And I feel like there are a lot of us that maybe aren't in his, similar, his same situation, but are in similar situations. And because of not having a clear vision and aimlessly walking around, we might get into the wrong group and have their agenda affect us because of it. One of the main things that has stopped me or deterred me, made it a little harder for me to achieve goals, is from hurdles. But from a runner's standpoint, you have a hurdle and you have to have a revolutional idea to get over that from A to B. But the good thing about hurdles is that you don't really need to jump over them. You don't need to have this crazy action plan. You just need to put one step in front of the other and that hurdle will fall over. They aren't made to stay in a stationary position. But a lot of the time, some things may be simple, but it's not easy. You might know how to achieve a certain thing. And that process, it could be a very simple process, but because it's not easy and because it will take work and it will take time and effort to put into it, we give up. And once we realize that if we do put just a little effort and we just keep on putting one foot in front of the other, we will achieve what we want in any area of our life. So after having a little more of a conversation with this guy, he had told me he had 
been out of jail for now two days. And when he was walking by me, he had a backpack on. He had a Wrigley shirt around his neck. And I asked him, I said, when was the last time you ate? And he said, a day or so. And the way he said it, the way it came through his voice, I knew that the last day he really did eat was when he had gotten out of jail. So while I suggested, I said, hey, if you want me to buy you a meal, Burger King's just around the corner. So we went and started walking. And then he had told me that he had actually talked to quite a few people. He had not necessarily asked for them, anything from them, but they didn't care. And I could tell that they were judging him on his appearance, judging a book by the cover. So now let's say I was looking down. I was waiting for a text from a friend. And let's say I wasn't the one to initiate that. He would have walked on by, just thought another individual who doesn't care. It's a numbers game. And eventually, to find the people that will help you, you're going to have to ask. After having lunch with him, it was a great guy. We had a good talk. And while he was more quiet and I did most of the talking, I'm glad that I could help him out. And I'm glad that I decided to still go out on a day like my accident, a day that normally I'm pretty superstitious because I've met one other quad higher than me and hers were also, her accident was also on a day of Friday the 13th. I want you guys to get two messages, and that is some things in life, they may not be simple. They may have hurdles, but you just need to walk through them. Just put one step in front of the other, and you will achieve what you are trying to achieve in your life. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay safe, and I will see you next time.